This is Mike, NoStressMike.com, working on part three on why Americans kill. Uh, okay, we're talking about uh, the Constitution and uh, uh, the, the thing is, and like I say, I had a comment uh, where uh, they said their daughter went into the military and he was saying that they don't really talk very much about the Constitution. Uh, one of the things that I find really odd about that also is when I was in, when I went in the Marines during Vietnam, uh, we made an oath to the Constitution. And most of the military people that that I'm aware of uh, are, <laughs> are really uh, uh, backers of the Constitution. And I'm going to be talking about how the Constitution um, uh, not only allows us Americans to kill, but um, it it even makes it uh, an obligation. And this is what this series is all about. And um, uh, and the thing is, uh, a, a We have this this Constitution really is uh, rules for uh, the people that are governing we the people. The Constitution really isn't uh, about we the people. Uh, and to clarify that some is okay it's the constitution makes it apparent i mean <laughs> there's no question you know that um uh that we have rights it's and it's not telling the government well we have to allow the humans to have these rights no <laughs> it's not like that. Uh -uh. No, no, no. It's making sure that the government people know that we have these rights. And it tells we the people that you have the right. Now, uh, as you have that right as an American. Okay, if you choose not to use that right, well, what do they say? Use it or lose it. And so that's why the government doesn't like to even talk about this stuff. They, they don't want to remind you <laughs> that you have these rights. You notice the more they push to take guns away, uh, the more we want guns. Okay. Uh, the the thing is, not ev not all Americans are really American. A lot of people, I hate saying this, but a lot of people are born in the United States, and they think I'm born in the United States, so I am an American. Hey. You're looking at the, the letters that are written down. It says, if you're born in the United States, then you are an American citizen. Okay, you're right. It does say that. But that's what I'm talking about. It also says you are obligated to act like an American. And that that means you are supposed to pursue prosperity, 
uh, you are to do something with your life. Uh, make yourself worthwhile. Don't be a leech to society. That's not <laughs> what the Constitution had in mind. And uh, like I'm saying, now when you start getting lawyers and stuff, that's why you see all, most of the politicians are lawyers. Why? It's because uh, a lawyer's job is to twist words to get different uh, understanding from those words. Even though we try to make the, uh, the Constitution is written simply, uh, they have to twist the words. Kind of, kind of like uh, what they say, it depends on what is means. <laughs> uh, that might be a little bit too old for some of you folks. But that was one of the Clintons. Um, um, way to to not go to jail was they said, well, uh, it depends what is means. So, see, so that's what happens when you get. Uh, okay, we're gonna. I, I wanna, let me move on. Let me move on. I want to explain. Okay, the the founders, the people that wrote the Constitution. In general, most of them were Christians. Now, um, uh, the thing is, there's nothing that says you have to be a Christian. Um, let me further expand on this somewhat. Okay. I'm not a Christian. I, 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 there, there was a time when I thought, oh, maybe I was a Christian. Um, my wife of 41 years, and uh, where I do uh, my Bible study, um, they tried to tell me that I'm Christian, but um, I'm not. I, I, I'm not because I don't fully believe in in everything, uh, and to, and to me, if you have to fully believe in it before you are, that's why I'm saying I, I'm I am an American. I fully believe in it, and that's what my videos are all about. I explain what I think uh, a, an American really is, and I live it. I do it, and so. They've tried to explain to me how the Christians work, and um, I couldn't go along with all of it. That's just me. But I do follow the Christian values. And uh, because I follow the Christian values, I'm able to make sense out of the Constitution. Because, like I say, the the ones that put it together were Christians. They they didn't expect everybody to be Christians. That's not it. But their their mentality, the way they were thinking, the way they wrote this out, was as a Christian or with Christian values. Even though I'm not a Christian, I do have the values. That's one thing I like about Christianity: is the values can be shared. Um, now, uh, the way I understand, like, um, Muslims, it, you, if you don't share their beliefs, well, then they stone you or cut your head off or do, do whatever, you know. Now, see, I kind of draw my line when it comes to losing my head. So, you know, now, so far the Christians didn't say anything about taking my head for not, not doing everything like they think, but, but that's okay. Leave my head alone. But uh, the thing is, you, uh, you have to have some kind of understanding about the uh, Christian values. And this is why, uh, boy, I hate picking on lawyers, but they, they ask for it. Because they don't act as if 
they have Christian values when they start twisting words. That's one of the things that they talk about in uh, Christian values is words, the power of words. Uh, that's why you're not supposed to say bad things about people. You're not supposed to lie. You know, these are all words. And uh, you're not supposed to do all this kind of stuff, you know. So, uh, and that's, that's, these are exactly what lawyers do, <laughs> you know. So, no wonder they got a bad rap, you know. So, um, but anyway, and these are the people that have got into government. And uh, they're, they're the ones, they think because they're lawyers and they study law, that they are qualified to make laws. See, that just that goes to show you even more about how misled lawyers are. Uh, they they really think they know something, and what they do know is how to screw shit up. And um, an example is what I can't. What is that? Yeah, an example is. Um, uh, you know, uh, there's no difference between the sexes. You know, um, I will push my Christian values to the side to think about that. And when I do, I think that's stupid. I'm not even going to talk about if because I don't know the Bible. That's one of the things that I'm I, so I can't recite stuff in the Bible and stuff like that. But I do have some kind of a sense of right and wrong, and there's no difference between man and woman. Let them use the same restroom. Uh, let them all get married to whatever they want to get married to. You know what I mean? These are things that kind of makes me think. You're the ones that are making these laws. You are the ones that are running this country. You are our public officials. And you can't tell the difference between right and wrong. This is Mike. No stress, Mike.com. Going to have to go to part four.